when Land and Council I mean, tries to trivialize this matter, it depends me because it doesn't know how painful it is. Because chairman, there is no in the history of the judicial system, nowhere, and most matter has ever been done or conducted live on TV. It was mine. And that was the reason when Dr. Modomidi Ankolo tries to contextualize this story, then it's not taken seriously. Just like as mentioned, there is a judgment there by Ngundi, which clearly in a paragraph says that is what happened. When uh, counsel for the mover accepts in before this committee that was called, I was having a discussion with the so-called, with the person that we are referring to as uh, a proxy. One wonders what is it that was being discussed. So members of this committee, I would want to say one time that as we look into this matter, let us really look, you look at the matter on the basis of evidence and the fact I am ready to defend myself and I really know the pain that the number of farmers that are and or really interacted with the few bags of fertilizer, I really feel for them. And uh, we've done, I've done, taken corrective measures from the ministry. Those people that we believe were culpable, I've already taken plea. And Chairman, I want to leave it at that, but you know, um, it's very painful for me because when I took over the ministry, the country was in a crisis, didn't have food. We didn't have, we were trying to import food. We produced 67 million bags within the first year. And when we are telling people go back to the farms, I thank the farmers that came to listen to us. I was shown Jahon, and because it's a, it's, it's, it's a, this is what I would call occupational, occupational hazard because it comes with the job I'm doing. But remember, members, I sat on that side for 15 years. You may also cross to this side. So as you decide on this matter, uh, please note, uh, please note do justice. By virtue that I'm a leader elected in Kenya, my people's representative, I represent Kenyans. And that is why we are here. We are not here just because of the Mola constituency, but the entire Republic of Kenya. You have briefed the, the committee that uh, you come from Mula uh, uh, constituency. Could you please highlight to the committee what is the major probably economic activity in that committee? As I indicated, in my constituency is the large farmers. We we dwell in sugarcane farming and maize. We understand we feed Kenya. Uh, on a light note, on the chair, we export food for you. So, largely, uh, my people are farmers, and farming is their business. And as we speak now, uh, there is trouble in that region. What nature of trouble are we facing? In what sense? Uh, our people, when, when they heard about the national program on subsidy and fertilizer, because they were happy, it's a government policy. And the government advertised that it was going to use a government agency, National Cereals and Produce Board, to, uh, to be selling the subsidized food to our people. Our people went and bought fertilizer, as we shall be uh, proving to this Honorable Select Committee. Fertilizer that turned out to be a different thing. In the words of the minister, uh, Mara uh, soil conditioner, then later on admitted that it was fake fertilizer. 
contaminated fertilizer. And the net effect, Madam Chair, uh, a bill scenario of one farmer. After using that fertilizer, his maize could not go beyond half a meter above the ground. It ends there. And now trouble is we are told that that will affect the soil because some had to pull down the maize and replant. But now on replanting, because of the effects of that bad fertilizer, there is no even germination. Mr. Amboka, before we go into the effects and all that, yeah, maybe to help the committee understand, when the government announced this program, did you people in your constituency take it up? Yeah, people were excited. They went to National Series and Produce Board. Doors and, uh, uh, you know, they have to line up. Some of them have to even wait for it. Take turns to be on the lines for even a day or two. Yes, they went and got it. And as, as we shall be proving here, you know, you apply, you get a message, then you go, yeah, from a, a government agency. We must take it to be admitted, therefore, that this evidence, which now they won't play, was not served. It's a very simple question. He tells you he served. He didn't serve. Let him show you evidence that he served. And if he didn't serve, we don't have it. The videos we are relying upon, we gave a flash disk for onward <coughs> transmission to them by the secretary of those videos. Why didn't they do that? That's the proper thing to do. Honorable select members, it's a great privilege to me to appear before you, particularly at my age. Last time I appeared in this ma matter of this kind was when we were handling Judicial Commission of Inquiry into Goldenberg. This was set up by the then president, Mwai Kibaki, and I had the honor and the privilege of being the lead counsel in that particular case. I thank Malandu, I thank the honorable member, Wanani from Boka, for nominating me to appear for him in this matter. The matter you have before you is in some respects very substantially similar to the matter we had in the Golden Park. Honorable members of the Select Committee, we have always had a problem in this country since we got independence. And the problem is of what I term and some academicians term portfolio corruption. Individuals who have been given portfolios and they are corrupt. The word corrupt here does not necessarily mean one taking money, but one not being responsible in his job or the job that he has been given by the president or by the state. This is a case we have in this before you. Day. What is important to look at is perception. Perception is important. Strictly speaking, in this case, one does not have to give evidence at all. It is a case that can be determined on perception. Honorable Inturi was given a high office of being Minister for Agriculture. If I may say so, this is perhaps the most powerful ministry in the government, which is supposed to take care of issues of poverty that we have in the country. He was responsible. He cannot turn around and say that I was not. He was responsible. 